Hey guys, I hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more EU4, Basilius, into the Roman Empire. We've been making some great progress here. Just kind of slowly expanding our way around here. Pretty soon we're definitely going to be going to war with Tunis, getting all of this stuff down there. Matter of fact, we can do it whenever we want. Um, but I suppose we're in no real rush. Once absolutism comes around, we'll be able to stomp the rest of Europe. We are, um, you know... Number one in the world with morale. Discipline's fine. We have good seat. Eh, I don't know about our siege ability, but defensiveness. Let me see here. We got Georgia, right? Georgia should be up there. Do they not take defensive ideas? Quantity. Okay, maybe they will make a good march. And they get that fort defense by default and religious, so we'll see. We'll see. I, uh,. Admittedly need a bigger army here. I've been talking about it for the last couple episodes I think today's the day we're gonna actually just be at peace for a moment and uh, Get to work on really converting our, st our Economy into an army We're losing stuff over here, which is fine. It's not a big deal. We're gonna separate peace the Pope Oh geez, they might actually be coming over here to uh, Make mincemeat of me Let's come on up here and blockade them. I need to be careful. I don't have good vision up here. Well, Locky is broken free. Interesting. I don't have claims on them, so... They're guaranteed by Hungary and Poland. But neither of them would actually join. Uh, I'm not going to do it, though. I would like to, but... um. Currently, I don't feel like putting all that point, all the points into admin coring. Rock has joined the coalition. I don't think any of this coalition is going to matter. Honestly, I really am not too concerned about it. Let's go ahead and get our free points, though. They'll be disloyal for a little bit. I don't particularly care. We will give some land to the clergy. Make them a bit more influential. Over here, it's fine. Yeah, it's all good. Couple of clicks there, a couple more provinces here and there, and then right there, sounds good. There. Nobility is pretty much always influential, so nothing I can do about that. Get our last idea group there. Very nice. And we can start culture converting as well. Fort defense and monthly war exhaustion, both nice to have. For free! So, let's go ahead and take trade. More money is always good money. All right, so as soon as we win this, we'll be able to just peace out Pope Man. Hopefully they don't take Rome on a 14%. And they did. I'm done with this game, man. I tell you what. <laughs> I'm so done with it. I lose a 64% and he wins a 14%. EU4 in a nutshell. All right, so we're winning sieges over here. Come on over here. Get that one out. Just win the siege, please. There we go. Boatman will probably peace out now. Just, uh, war ups is fine. There you go. Let's get these guys unblack flagged. Let's go ahead and go land on Roma. I don't really care about them sieging all this stuff down. It, honestly, it's not a big deal. So we'll go ahead and do that. Let's have you return all those cores. So let's go ahead and just carpet siege him then. If he's going to be a weenie. We do have Timmy in this war, but if he's full occupied, I don't think he'll uh, he'll be able to do much. He's sons of guns. Ah, uh, change of plans. Let's go ahead and have you guys come take care of these guys over here. We can boat bomb them, I think. Sardinian Separatists. So let's actually see if we can get over there in time to boat bomb the Sardinian Separatists. It wouldn't be a boat bomb. We'll be taking a defensive or a negative ro roll, but that's fine. So we're definitely going to need some more men in this battle. So do we have our four? Two. So let's get two cav. Tons of infantry. Um, yep, 
Yeah. Burgers are going to be mad for a while. There's nothing I can do about it. I don't care. It's fine. All right, cool. So they will now truce out and give me the land that I'm looking for. Extra fort for uh from my dude. Good stuff. I would like to march him, but I can't yet. Let's go ahead and get you guys grouped up over here as well. As soon as these guys are all ready to roll, we can probably stack wipe them in Macedonia, honestly. So you guys are all going to join up here. We want those cav, though. The cav are going to be good for the flank. Lost our general. Feels bad, man. Integration is a slow process. And just like that, we got another 17k that I completely forgot about. So our army is thick and juicy at this point. Go ahead and get you guys grouped up. How many cannons? 1k cannons. Despicable. Uh, let's just have you guys work your way around there. Might as well get them up there as well. Let's get a general. General on here as well. There we go. Looking good. So Russia has a disputed succession. That'd be pretty cool, man. Lost the naval fight. I suppose I probably should make my way in and try to beat up on his navy. We certainly have the advantage, so uh, I don't see why not. Get a repair tick. I don't see any of his navy around here. They must all just be blocked. Yep, they're back home, so that's good. We don't have any cannons over here, unfortunately. But I'm super far ahead on all this stuff, so I'll just uh, win those sieges as quickly as possible. Let's go ahead and um, have you guys split and come over here and over there. It's fine. We'll win all this stuff in due time. Making sure we're expanding our production base. Production translates to trade, which, trans which translates to money, especially late game. So let's go ahead and have you guys detach the blockade. Come on over here. See if we can uh, win the Siege of Venice quicker. Win the Siege of Tarnovo. Who else do you have in here? Just a couple of dudes up there that I don't care about. So I will take that just because Crete, you know... I'm sure it's bothering you guys just as much as it's bothering me. <clears throat> Siena, Aragon, both of them will be gone. Same with Savoy, Hungary. We're fine. Should improve with these guys. Hungary's gonna hate me forever. Pope's gonna hate me forever. Bavaria likes me. Hmm. Scotland. Keep an eye out for that. See if we can get that, um, <clears throat> excuse me, that, uh, that free PU. I'll probably have to go to war for it, but, uh, if we can at least get somebody on their throne, we can get a PU later on. You know, no worries. We'll keep on influencing Georgia. It's fine. Wonder where the uh how fast that's growing over where we're at. Not too slow. We'll probably have to dev it a little bit. Come on, you weenies. As soon as we siege down Venice, we'll get it. And send some cannons over there. Beautiful. Should take it. Awesome. So let's uh wait and wait till we destroy his navy to piece him out. That's great. I love that. Cool. And then to make sure we have the longest truce possible, we'll take all of his money as well. Plus, it's just nice to have money. And there we go. We grow. Look at that Byzantium. Brings a tear to my eye. It's so beautiful. We have uh, Triumph for Greece as well.
army tradition and prestige. Very cool. Let's go ahead and uh, pay off his debt, placate him, and uh, click the button. Do we need any mill? No, we're doing totally good on army tradition. That's crazy, dude. Crazy. So, France. Okay. So we could get our house on two major world powers right now. It's all about that R and Jesus like liking what we're doing. Let me take a sip of my coffee here real quick. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. So let's take a quick look around what's going on. Denmark still has the PUs. Looks like he's actually expanded into Russia, if you can believe that. Probably Novgorod back in the day. He is currently at war with Lithuania. Poland, so Poland probably was called in by Lithuania. Poland is about to have Moldavian separatists break free. So let's go ahead, get some claims down there if we can. Um, let's see here. We're gonna need to go to war with Hungary and Austria. What is this? Serbia is broken free as well. Well, I think that's a quick, easy war for us here. Nobody's gonna help them out. So let's just go ahead and go in there. I'll piece this one out as quickly as I can because um, it's my intention to march um, this dude over here. Mallorcan Separatist, interesting. Let's see if we can... Really, bro? Why so angry? Because it's Catholic. Let's just convert what we can, I guess. Menorca is going to get converted, but it's definitely going to... They're going to have rebels. I'm going to need to send some men over there. Hungary has gone bankrupt. Interesting. Truce with them is not up for quite a while, so... going to take me some time to recover from that one. So let's go ahead and shuffle split these guys. Shuffle split, for those who don't know, is when you split the army in half, send it to a province, split the other army in half, send it to the province. So basically you send half this army to that army, half this army to that army, and it splits them roughly in half. Uh, sometimes it's best to shuffle split it multiple times. So he got Aurora Kovic. If this guy dies, we'll be able to... A P with France would be quite nice. Quite nice. When we get caught up on tech, we can start working on getting some uh, conversions done as well. So that'll be nice. Let's go ahead and take that one. The entire country needs him or local defensiveness in Roma for the rest of the game. Sounds good. Okay, so as far as war decking on Austria, we can do it. And we sh oh, Russia will help him. What do heck? Russia, you haven't done anything for me this entire game, dude. All of a sudden, you're going to defend your enemy. Austria, the Habsburgs and the Rorokovichs do not get along, and they should not. Ah, shame. Shame, shame. It happens. Um, make some states. Yes, free states over here. Let's do that. Sicily, faux free, faux free, faux free. My favorite kinds of states, the ones you don't have to pay for. Palestine, yes. Make sure everything is converted down here. It is. So why can we not consecrate it? Oh, it's Bedouin culture, right? Um, what is the culture over here? Catalan. No, this isn't a state, so I can't. Ah, eh, we're okay. That's fine. So let's go ahead and make him a march. So this is a really good modifier for a place, especially for a place like Georgia. We'll go ahead and send officers, give some extra morale and discipline. And we will, let me see, how's his economy looking? Let's go ahead and give him some subsidies as well. We'll do it next month. Our uh, army is looking good, especially since we inherited that army from, um, what's his nuts? Naples. So, if we want, what we could do, we could 
pay off their debt and have them divert their trade to us. And we can just placate the rulers as well. That's going to give me a lot more trade power, sending it into Constantinople. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh, such good income. We'll wait on this. Miltech 13 is when artillery starts actually being good, so... Ooh. This, this campaign has been flying. Golden Era is over. So, as far as this war goes... Bohemia is calling me in... Again... Oh, the War of the Protestant League. Interesting. Well, let's take a quick look here. So I'll be a Catholic. Ooh, the Russians will be in it. But, 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 if I say, let's see here. I'll do this. I'll do this. Um, but if there's any of this land can be taken, I want it. I want it. I want it. Is Hungary in? Hungary is not in this war. But against Austria, that's good for me. Let's go ahead and send these guys over here. Let's have you and then like do one of these guys here. Let's have these guys come over here to Vienna and have these guys just come back these guys up. Navy is, there's a lot of navies. So let's have these guys go ahead and start headhunting. Hunt for enemy fleets in the Mediterranean. We have a uh, extra movement speed. So that's really good. Should be a stack wipe over here. Hungary has collapsed. I think they just had a... Those dudes, mostly. So cool. We won that. Go ahead and core up Malta. Do I care about Patriarch Authority? So it's spreading in all my... Uh, non-Catholic provinces that are in that sort of group. Take the money and consecrate some Metropolitans. It's no big deal. Maybe. I don't know if I have any to consecrate. Feels bad, man. Hey, we consecrate that one. Beautiful. So Venice is our ally. How funny is that? <clears throat> so we can actually send these guys over to Russia. Russia's got... 41,000 men in the field. Quite a lot. Don't know why these guys are running all the way around there, but that's fine. This is a show superiority war, which is funny because, you know, sieging stuff down obviously gives you leverage but you get war score from battles so mamluks have announced me as their rival now oh. it happens defender of the faith oh yes moldavia i didn't get a claim feels bad man Oh, and they're orthodox. Interesting. I need to be careful here. That army is certainly kind of naked out there. We need to be very careful that we're not going to get stack wiped by some giant roaming Russian stack. Let me take a sip of my coffee here while I'm waiting on sieges. Actually, I need to be careful. The 18 stack of Milan might be heading my way. Yeah, they are. Feels bad, man. Should be okay. I'll actually win that. That's funny. Haha. -ha. Idiots. Let's get you guys over here. Let's see if we can win that. 33%. Nope. So we won Vienna. So that's good. Let's take these two back over and then we'll head over to Russia. I suppose this is a good excuse to uh, cut those ties. 
It would have been sweet to get a royal or a PU on them, but you know, no crying over spilled milk. Go ahead and get up there. I wonder what my war participation is looking like. 30%, that's pretty good. If I had more men on this siege, it would also be going up more. Let's go up here to rise on. Got a mana war. What is that? Let's see here. Is that no? Very good. Or maybe that's the next tech. Brig, which is a transport. Okay, we're good. So Castile's in here as well. Dude, this is an easy Protestant war. Jeez, OP. They have nothing. They've lost 32 ships. We've lost 39. How many have we lost ourselves? Castile and Portugal lost almost all of them because they're dinguses. We haven't lost any. <clears throat> Milan and Austria has lost their entire navies. Pretty good. Any additional war score that my uh, my vassals are doing is, is great for us as well. Now, yeah. Unless I actually, specifically, I siege down Palatinate lands, I don't think I'm going to be able to separate piece, but Bohemia would hopefully piece out and then give me these two provinces. But it's hard to say. He very well may just not, so. So are these guys protecting trade in Genoa? Let's go ahead and not do that. Let's go ahead and protect trade in... Alexandria. Same with you guys. Go ahead and protect trade in Alexandria. <clears throat> Let's see what we can get back from here. Russia is heading over there. I don't think they're going to be getting it anytime soon. Army reformer is dad. Let's see if we can get another one. Me likes those morales. Discipline's good as well. Not the right, uh... Not the right, uh, culture, but that's okay. Hopefully we win these sieges eventually. Take them all forever. <coughs> Alright, so Bavaria's pieced out for, uh, we're ups. Very good. Let's see if we can get you guys grouped up over here. Get a big old doom stack. Hopefully they win this. Well, I guess if they want, we can just go fight fight them mano a mano. Certainly out morale and oh, we didn't even upgrade our cannons yet either. That's kind of funny. Netherlands has declared independence. People are pleased. Very good. So, Netherlands, welcome to the map. Oh, I love me some Dutch Netherlands. Okay. I'm waiting until the next month to uh, get the little 9% discount there. Um, it's fine. I wonder if I'm ever going to win this siege. The world may never know. Except for right now. Now we know. Let's go ahead and have you guys group back up. Let's go ahead over to here and we'll have these guys siege down Moskva. Might even be able to get a stack wipe on this f set of peeps over here. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not going to upgrade the cannons, but we will get the bonuses for them. Oh, they're reinforcing. Now they're attacking me, taking a river crossing? Yes, they are. Feels good, man. Stack wipe, I hope. Not a stack wipe. Dude, they just keep on going in one at a time. 
Oh, I love it. How many Russians have died in this war? Well, let's see how many Byzantines have died in this war. Uh, 42,000. That's not nothing. Russia has lost 33. So we've actually lost more than them. It's interesting. So, oh, yes! I didn't even see this. Very good. He gave me the land. That is ideal. <laughs> Very good. That's exactly what I was hoping for. So now we just need one more war with Hungary. We'll be able to get exactly what we want to get this next thing. Let's go ahead and uh, tick that off. That's fine. Northern border. Yep. We'll be able to get that. Claim on Venetia. Claims in Tripoli. So we just need to take all that. That's Aragon. Central Anatolia. So we need this one province. So we'll be able to go to war with them pretty soon. <clears throat> Iraq is looking pretty big. Okay. So let's see here. Let's go siege down Moskva. Let's also upgrade our cannons. I think Iraq actually just joined the coalition. Interesting. A couple other Italians are joining. <clears throat> Nothing I'm concerned about. Jeez, OP. <clears throat> wow, man. What is wrong with me? This freaking throat thing drives me nuts. Anyways. Just gonna siege down some Russian lands. We're super far ahead. Let's just go ahead and uh, see if we can get out of this war sooner rather than later. Lost the Siege of Roma. Feels bad, man. We were literally about to get on there as well. They can siege down Napoli, and I'm just gonna do one of these guys here. So we don't out front line them. They have a few more than me. So we'll get flanked if we attack them there. So let's go ahead and refrain for a moment. Truce with the Mamluks is over. So let me quickly attack them here for a holy war. Because now we directly border them, so we can holy war them. Very well, may take some more land down in here. Because I'm certainly going to take the land I have claims on. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Georgia has ridiculously high defensiveness. Look at this. So stupid. So stupid. Alright, so... Patriarch Authority, or still like over, or still at a hundred. We should probably just switch. It's fine. It's fine. This war with uh, Mamlux is going to be important because it keeps them out of the coalition. We might actually be. Oh, English Channel is right in front of us. Gotta make sure we keep on building these improvements over here. Anything that's in Constantinople node is going to pretty much directly go into it, and then anything over here is also going almost, almost entirely directly into it. Disputed succession, Moldavia. Couldn't be prouder. Free mill points. Sounds good, man. Feels good, man. Come on, now win the sieges. <clears throat> Are you honestly kidding me? Over 50% for every one of them, and we still don't get it? Ah, <sighs> infuriating. Mildly. Mildly infuriating. It's not horribly infuriating. Just mildly. <laughs> Never lucky, you know. All that. Cool. So let's get you guys over here. Let's get you guys down here. They better win, I swear. There we go. <clears throat> Very good. We lost the siege! Ha ha ha! Yeah, right, dude. Yeah, right. That's bogus. Let's go ahead and go see blockade impact on siege. That's what I thought, Wienerhead. You better get out of there. Okay. Let's get these guys moving home. <clears throat> I'm going to have to get down here ASAP. All right, that's going to do it for this one. Hope you guys are enjoying. Don't forget, show your support. Leave a like, subscribe if you have not already. 
There is going to be links below for the Discord and the Patreon, so if you want to support the channel, that's the best way to do it. Links are in the description. And with all of that being said, this is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. Special thanks to Bloodbound92, Yadaldo, Jaron Clampett, CWG Dutch Terror, Valentel, Corbett Gaming, Palmer, Classified for Life, Airborne Animal 7, Uncle Donald, Lambda Driver, Damian Hartvig. You guys rock. I appreciate you. Don't forget to subscribe. Catch you guys later.